that like if you if I if you my girlfriend which I only had one girlfriend me too I only I'm had crazy. one tell one ex I don't know I've been hearing rumors that I have other girl tell like, other exes I only them. had one ex feel me me you too feel me her name was Leslie you heard <laughs> Leslie her that was my only ex so let's go everything else needs to just you feel me so if, like, you tight. if you I feel if, like so I'm just basically kind of like reacting to this because somebody sent it to my dms and it's funny how clarence in his um twitch video he was like he ain't got no exes but the only reason why we know leslie and the only way we know leslie or how we know leslie is because of clarence because he said he only had one ex and he clearly said it was leslie so of course when he saw chris and leslie do the tiktok together Mind you, they didn't even say anything. He had them pressed. Chris had um, Clarence pressed with just silence and a dance move because these niggas didn't even say anything and Clarence was in his feelings. And he was in his feelings because how you go from claiming your ex and claiming you only had one ex, then all of a sudden, because she's collaborating with somebody that you don't like or you're envious of or whatever the case may be, all of a sudden, you know, she's she's collaborating with another guy. And then all of a sudden now she's not an ex. She's just somebody you used to talk to. So, yeah, that basically just proves that he was definitely butthurt. And um, I just feel like when people do that, when you go from ex to, oh, somebody they was just talking to, messing with, screwing around with, when they try to downplay you like that, usually it's because they feelings hurt. Like, he started off saying, you act like a nigga care. They act like a nigga care. Nigga, you do care. Because how she go from ex to someone you used to talk to? Why? Because she's doing TikToks with a nigga that you envious of and you don't like? That nigga basically showed you that, hey, I definitely linked up with your ex and she's sitting next to me and I got her sitting next to me. And that got you pressed. That that hurt your feelings. That hurt your pride and your ego. So you're mad. Now, Leslie went from ex to somebody you was just talking to. You definitely hurt. And as far as Queen goes, she looks dumb as hell because your nigga literally is on the internet spazzing over an ex. You, le you left your husband. Well, Chris said he didn't want her. But you basically went to Clarence to try to make Chris mad only for... Clarence to be mad over his ex. <laughs> you went to Clarence to try to get Chris to spaz, which he never did, only for him to link with Clarence's ex and cause Clarence to spaz over his ex. You get what I'm saying? Like she went to Clarence to make Chris spaz, but instead Clarence is spazzing over his ex. Okay, so Chris don't give a fuck about Queen in that, on that level, but Clarence just proved that he definitely still feels some type of way and, you know, you know, feels some type of way about his ex. And you his girlfriend, his baby mama, you have his child, and you sitting at the house looking stupid. He got a whole reaction up of his ex, who he claim isn't an ex, who he used to claim as an ex, who he now doesn't see as an ex because he's visibly hurt and upset that he collabor that she collaborated with another dude. And you at home looking dumb. Like, you look so dumb. This, ni this nigga couldn't even say that you was an upgrade. Somebody said, oh, Queen is an upgrade. This nigga, Clarence, any nigga in their right mind would say, yes, you know, I got me a diamond or whatever, whatever. Hell no. This nigga sits up there and he says, I wouldn't say an upgrade, you know, um, like what? Like you literally, like, I think Queen is really, I think she's slow because your nigga literally is reacting to his ex one. So he cares. He's showing anger because he's downplaying her, which means he cares. He's reacting to her. And puts it on his page, disrespecting the hell out of you as his baby mama, as the mother of his child, by having another woman, his ex, on his page, caring about what she does when he shouldn't give a damn about what Leslie is doing or who she's doing it with. He's paying attention. 
you know, to a female that you thought you can erase with your money and your fame, but your money and your clout still couldn't get your nigga to not react or not care about Leslie because he out here spazzing and acting a fool over this girl and your money and your fame could not eliminate that. You know what I'm saying? You can't buy love. You cannot... You cannot use your fame, your bag to make niggas like you or want you like a, like a desperate bitch. Like, you can't do that. You know, you know what I'm saying? Because at the end of the day, none of that, none of that was able to keep him from, you know, not focusing on Leslie. None of that was able to keep him from ignoring Leslie. He gave her that attention. He gave her that recognition. Because why? He gives a fuck. You know what I'm saying? So it's just embarrassing. It's like Clarence is visibly pressed. He was very pressed and still is pressed. And Queen is just slow because there's no way I'm going to be with somebody and I'm going to allow him to react to his ex and put it on his page. What you stunting her for? That's how I would be thinking. What you, what you, what you interested in reacting to her for? What you care for? Like, why Why are you reacting to my ex and your ex? Isn't that the past? Like, that's how a real woman thinks. But she's slow. She's, she's so low in self-esteem and so insecure and so dumb. And she doesn't even get it. Like, she literally does not understand how dumb she looks. Like, what the fuck I look like letting my nigga react to his ex and me not feeling some type of way? What do I look like as a woman and the mother of somebody's child for a nigga to sit there and be spazzing on the internet over an ex that he claims isn't an ex, but claimed as an ex years ago, clearly downplaying her, clearly showing that he is hurt. What do I look like in that circumstance or under those, you know, conditions? What do I look like putting up with that? You know what I'm saying? But, you know, it's the desperation for me. You know what I'm saying? It's the slowness for me. But yeah, Leslie definitely was his ex. That's who he claimed. And when he saw her collaborate with Chris, she became somebody who he was just talking to. He was but hurt. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know why he would be hurt about that though. Like, so what if she collaborates with Chris? But the thing is, is that he does care. That's why he reacted like that. And you got Queen Dumbass sitting at the house watching him react to his ex and she thinks, I don't know what she's thinking, but any woman who's smart would think that's a problem. You know what I'm saying? Comment down below, guys, ladies, if your boyfriend or husband, fiance, whoever, is dealing with you, but all of a sudden his ex gets a new boyfriend or links up with somebody, whoever it is, and you see him basically comment on it on Instagram or react to it on YouTube or say something about it on Twitter, like he acknowledges it, how would you feel? Like, would you, wouldn't you feel disrespected? Wouldn't you feel like he still feels some type of way about this girl? You let me know, because I know I would. If you're my, my girlfriend, you're you gonna get things and, and, and privilege.